Youth Radio is a youth-driven production company uh, headquartered in Oakland, California. And what we're best known for is youth-generated content for um, mass media outlets, from National Public Radio to digital outlets. Um, and uh, so it's our sort of bread and butter has been young people producing stories that reach big audiences. And at a certain point, um, we realized that we wanted to take that up a notch and um, not only prepare young people to produce content, but uh, support them in learning how to develop new platforms. Um, because we're learning and seeing through recent events in the world and um, even prior to that, that that's where media literacy is really where the rubber hits the road. And that is that we need young people to be able to um, develop new technologies that increasingly determine who knows what and how information flows and how change happens. And so it was out of a kernel of an idea like that that we proposed um, to launch the Mobile Action Lab, which would essentially be 25 young people partnering with professional developers to create mobile apps that serve community needs. Our program at the Mobile Action Lab has three components. So we're developing in one year five apps, as I said, that serve community needs. And we do that through development teams that each app has its own sort of custom configuration of partners and youth team and you know, sort of goal and scope for what the app will be. So that's number one is sort of this iterative um, collaborative development of the five apps. The second uh, dimension of the curriculum is speaker series where we bring in um, app developers, game designers, inventors who come into our studios, who demo work that they're doing, and we produce videos out of those conversations or encounters between youth and uh, professionals with the idea that we'll have the professionals pinpoint dimensions of what they're doing that relate to where we are in our app development process. And the third and really important piece is using Google App Inventor to um, introduce young people to what programming is, to have them understand how the various coding blocks can be moved around to create really amazing functionality. We are not computer scientists. As I said, what Youth Radio knows best and what I personally know best is media production with youth, storytelling, going out to, to various platforms and outlets. So we had to take a look at resources within our community um, to uh, identify people that we could bring in to actually facilitate the, the use of App Inventor in an effective way with our students. I think it started with a, with a Google search to find um, faculty at Bay Area colleges that were teaching any kind of app development course because we thought well we'd start with a professor then we'd find a grad student that or maybe a recent graduate of the program who we could partner with um, and we happened to um, just by virtue of luck be uh, in the same city Oakland as Ellen Spurtis who's a computer science professor at Mills College she was one of the people who helped um, develop App Inventor and so she um, sent out a call to her grad students to say anybody interested in coming into to youth radio um, to, to work with App Inventor and a group of kids who've got no background in programming or coding or computer science and a huge diversity in terms of those students. So we work with kids from 14 to 24. And so we found um, a graduate student that way. And then we also have support within our organization as a media organization where we know how to you know, we have computers um, and we have some support when those computers need <laughs> troubleshooting. So it was kind of looking both within the organization and then reaching out to the community, um, in this case, local universities. When we first set up App Inventor, I mean, something very smart about the way um, it's set up is that there are these tutorials that are uh, fairly simple and allow you within uh, you know a very short period of time to have something up and running on the phone and the fact that you can in real time uh, bring the work that you're doing on the computer and have through an emulator and then run it on your actual device is a pretty thrilling moment when you actually see if it worked. Um, and so I was actually in the mix with the young people in the first App Inventor workshop that we ran because I'd never done it before, right? So, and I gotta say, I mean, this is, you know, so often in the field that I come from, youth media, we talk about these moments when you realize that young people and adults are really working as colleagues. And in so many cases, when we're telling stories, the young people have insights or points of access or analysis that you know, it's you're sort of it's humbling as somebody who sees oneself as having experience in this area. How they're really 
driving the work. And that was almost more pronounced in our App Inventor workshop because they just jumped in to, you know, they were immediately just moving these coding blocks around, um, sort of jumping ahead because the facilitator had projected sort of what um, the blocks were going to need to look like in order for this app to be built. And they were immediately just kind of piecing stuff together. Um, when he was trying to talk about more conceptually or theoretically about app development, they were still, I was watching them still kind of like inside this, the program wanting to, to keep getting closer and closer to having a working app. The call was put out to the young people, well, what do you guys want to try to make? And it turned out that two of the young people who were in the, this particular workshop had come out of another program within Youth Radio where they had developed a website and podcast series called All Day Play um, that you could access online, but there was no way that young people could listen to the music that they were programming through All Day Play on their phones. And of course, that's where they wanted to listen to music, um, when they were riding on the bus and when they were waiting around at school. And so they'd been kind of slowly but surely advocating for building an All Day Play app you know, before this point. But they saw this as their opportunity where they said, well, we want to make an all-day play app. And within the period of, of two days, they had created a prototype that worked where they could actually stream all-day play on their phones. And what I found is, because our young people come from a background in storytelling, journalism, media production, that their metaphors weren't so ma much you know, math or engineering or computer science metaphors as much as storytelling metaphors when they were trying to make sense of what they were doing and they're like, oh, this is kind of like developing a script, you know, like it's going back when they do try to run it on the phone and it doesn't do what they expected, editing and, and moving things around and realizing what they had missed and, and then doing it again until it works.